Hi everyone, Yvonne Heath here with Love Your Life to Death. I can't believe I am going to show the final tip, tip number 10 on navigating life, grief, and everything in between. It's been really awesome sharing these tips throughout this global pandemic and everything else that life throws at us. So let's see what tip number 10 is. Tip number 10, make random acts of kindness. Ooh, this is my favorite. Make random acts of kindness a part of your every day. There's so much you can do to feel the positive. It's already serious enough. Let's take time away from focusing on our own challenges. Do something that would be meaningful for someone else. There are so many who are alone at this time. They would love to have people with them, but cannot. So reconnect, reach out to just one more. Reach out to just one more. That's something my friend Pete Bambachi, who founded the Genwell Project, would say because connection, social connection is everything. So I love thinking about random acts of kindness, planned acts of kindness, and reminding people that when you are struggling, in crisis, in a challenge, sometimes if we just pause take a breath and, you know, sort of, sort of take a little moment away from what we're going through and we go do something nice for someone else. I promise you, it feeds your heart and soul. It feeds their heart and soul. And whoever has seen this happen, sees you do something nice or say something nice, it also brings them a smile. It really is not that challenging. We complicate everything. When I go out, I specifically make it a point. I think, okay, I'm going to compliment people today. And, and it's all very sincere. I don't make things up. So I think of just today, I was in line um, and a lady behind me had the cutest outfit on. And often we'll think these things in our heads, right? Oh, she looks so cute, or he looks so great, or that was a really nice thing they did. So if you are saying it in your head, I encourage you to say it out loud. I turned around and I looked at this lady and I said, I just have to tell you, I love your outfit. She had a mask on and even with her mask, I could tell she had a big smile on her face. I could see her eyes smiling and she said, thank you so much. I got this here. And she started telling me all about it. We had a lovely little conversation and I know people who were listening felt the same way. I could tell that they thought, oh, that was really nice. So I encourage you make random acts of kindness, planned acts of kindness, part of your every day. It will be good for you, for the person and for everyone around us and help even raise the positive positivity and uh, of the planet, a higher vibration, because love and kindness is truly something that changes lives. So thank you, everyone, uh, for listening to my tips. And of course, when you follow us, you will get the 10 tips on navigating life, grief and everything in between. And um, I would love to hear what you did to reach out to someone or when someone reached out for you, did they just show up with a random act of kindness, planned act of kindness, whatever it is, it is always great to share these things. So thank you so much, everyone. Take good care. You know, I'm always here. I will always just show up for you. So bye for now.